Hi, thank you for being here. I'm glad you found the website and I'm glad you found this video. This is for entrepreneurs. Writers, you can get some good info on this too. And if you're just watching, thank you for doing so. All right, so we're gonna talk about how to create a course. Now, maybe you're just starting out. Maybe you've had your business for a while. Maybe you've never really created a course. You just kind of do things and you wanna tune it up a little bit. So we have some great insight for you. So let's go to screen sharing share my screen and here we are. I typed into, you can use Google, DuckDuckGo, whatever you use for a search engine. And I put create a course. And there are all kinds of places to create courses online. Now, one of the most, you know, Wix, uh, Wix actually has a website, has a good one here too. Um, uh, Teachable is a really good one. Udemy.com is a good one. Um, both of these are really great places to set up a course. Uh, let's go to teachable.com. It's the first one I saw. Udemy is recommended to me just recently, so that's a good one to go to. You know, share what you know, whether it's woodworking. Maybe, um, you know, you are trying to create a course on, let's just take rock climbing. I've never done traditional rock climbing with the ropes and the gear and everything. I've done a little bit of the umbele, but <laughs> that's about the only word I remember from it. Um, most of the time I just climb by hands and, and feet. So um, what I, the reason I'm telling you this is it doesn't matter what you are teaching on. There are ways to get courses out there. Okay, so we've got teachable.com. We've got udemy.com. Let's go to Jasper. Um, let me go up to the top here. Uh, Jasper AI, Jasper 101, learn the Jasper basic lives. Now Jasper is good for anyone, whether you're writing a book, whether you're writing a speech, whether you're writing a course, you need to use Jasper to help give you ideas, make sure you've got things going right. It's just an overall good, good, program to have in your toolbox um, you know like create a course online is in your toolbox jasper's in your toolbox i'm going to recommend grammarly in your toolbox canva in your toolbox lots of different places to go you can also um oh i can't think of the name of it right now i didn't write it down i just happened to think of it just now um there's places you can go to online to have other people write these for you but why not write it yourself you're the one teaching it let it come from your words so jasper is a really good place to go and um there's all kinds of things to go in here do you know jasper even has videos and stuff now too which is wonderful um let's go to grammarly grammarly is great you come in here and it's going to correct anything. Um, I was just talking with someone and it's like right here. Grammarly is a little green dot that stays there. If you go in your upper right of your screen on your, I use Firefox, it'll be there. And what it does is it just shows you if there's typing errors. So this is some action I want pets to take. Let's go rock climbing. Okay. So it's not going to recognize these words. And it's like, whoa, what did you put here? Okay, well, we'll recognize this one as let's. Um, and sometimes this happens. I don't know why. Um, and it has for instead of gore. Let's, but I wanted to say go. So you just type it in. And it doesn't know what this word is at all. Let's go rock climbing with dogs. Okay, so give it a minute. It's going to say, hey, climbing's not right. Dogs isn't right. There you go. Changes at all time. Works really good. So you can use Grammarly for this. You can use it in your documents. You can use it when you're, when I'm uploading books to um, KDP on Amazon, Grammarly kicks in then and says, hey, this isn't right. When I go to Canva, creating documents in Canva, here's this one here. Let's say that I did, um, uh, Podios. Well, Grammarly is right there. It's going to come in and says, hey, wait a minute. Podios is not right. You wanted videos. Yes, I did. And yes, I did want dot PDFs. Okay. So now we're here in Canva. Canva is a great place to create um, anything you want to visually for your audience to see, to get people to come in. Um, maybe I wanted them to get real excited about Oh, look, 
we're now online. Hooray, we're online. So I could create something that says writers to readers.com is online. I'd use different colors. Maybe you want to go something like, oh, that's a little too drastic. Um, writers to readers.com, shrink the words down a little bit. It's going to look small, but there I am. You can at least see it. Now you're going to see that. Let's see if I can get it. That purple line there. That's really what people are going to focus on. So if you can get it in there, you know, they're going to see that. All right, writersreaders.com. I'm online. Woohoo! So is lskirkpatrick.com. <laughs> That's my book website. Okay, so these are great things you can use, great tools that you have. Um, you know, search under here. I want you to kind of, you know, we talk about our niche, N-I-C-H-E. That just means what is it that you do? What are you really doing? And get specific as you can. I want to create a course, but I want to create a course for dogs. Um, rock climbing. <laughs> Doesn't work up here with dogs. So does anybody have a course for rock climbing? There you go. Top activities for a rock climber with dogs. How to build a backyard obstacle for your dog. Well, rock climbing etiquette. Should you bring your dog? You know, best dog climbing harness. All kinds of things. You want to go to create your courses. See, there's more places here where you can create courses. I really like Udemy, uh, teachable.com, Tony Robbins and Dean Graziosos has has a course on how to uh, create your own course. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I took a course with Les Brown and it was just videos. Paid 20 bucks a month. It was great. I got to be his prodigy for a while. Um, you know, Nick and Megan Unsworth with Life on Fire, they have some courses that you can um, copy from them, you know, just input your own stuff. So it's pretty much done. You just have to fill in your own information, which is great. So I really wanted to show you, you know, use Jasper to really get, um, well, like it says, a solid foundation understanding of how Jasper works, but you want it possible not just for your writing, for your writing in your books, for your writing in your speeches, for your writing in your talks, for your writing in your course creation. You want it to be the best and just captivating that's there. It's it's great. There's so many things to use here. So I just want to do a quick share with you and let you know about these things. You can find the links on my page and I appreciate you being here. And if there's anything I can help you with, be sure and let me know. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.